Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here and I have a pile of something very different for my channel in front of me. I have decided I am going to participate in Roxy's Journal of Stitchery that starts early next year. Many, many, many moons ago, I used to love to cross stitch. It was probably the first real crafty thing I got into, but I haven't done it for a long time. But I think it's time to pick up the needle again. So the first thing I did, I have been through my stash. I want to try and do this project without going and spending any money. So I thought I better go and see what's in my stash. If I have to buy something, well, we'll do it, but I was surprised with what I found, so why don't I show you what I will be using? First things first, we need a book to make our journal with. I have this old Reader's Digest. I think it cost me 50 cents at a um, op shop, and I think that will make a perfect cover it's in fabulous condition so all I have to do oh look other than that but look I of course will be covering it stripping out all the pages I mean it was look at that it was originally two dollars and I ended up I think I paid 50 cents for it so I think that will make a great cover but now there, there's always a but when I plan a project the other thing I found when I was going through my stash is this fabulous piece of canvas it's in great condition, it's very thick, it's lush and lovely. I might be tempted to make my own cover, pop some cardboard, you know, to stiffen things up in between, and then paint slash embroider slash I have no idea yet, but I am going to ponder this thought over the next couple of weeks and decide whether to use a book cover or whether to make something from scratch using this fab piece of canvas. Watch this space. So then the next thing we need is something to make our blank pages with, because obviously we're not using paper for this project. So I decided I'm going to use this, oh my gosh, look at this. This is cat hair from my cat that unfortunately I haven't had. She disappeared and never came home a few years ago. Oh dear, um, somehow she must have sat on that one day. This is the fabric you buy to line blinds. When you, know, when you make Roman blinds and things like that, I did make a couple for a house we lived in a long time ago, and I have plenty of it left. It's a nice thickness. I don't know whether I will double it up yet or do it just single width, but it's a really good blank canvas, I think. So I will use that as my pages. Then of course, the actual embroidery that we do will get attached to it. So yes, I'm not sure if I'll double it up or not yet. I'll think about that one too. Then we also need a plain style fabric to use as the base for our actual stitchery panels. Now, this old tablecloth, Almost made it into the bin, but luckily I threw it into my fabric tub instead, and I'm so glad I did. It had, it somehow got like these rust marks, sort of. I don't know if it's rust, honestly. I'm not sure what it is, but I tried bleaching and all sorts of things. I could never get those marks out, so I thought, right, I don't want this tablecloth anymore. See these strange marks? I don't know what they are. But it's a lovely fabric. It's a good thickness, not too thick, not too thin. It um, obviously has some, you know, nice, um, what's the word? Oh, mental blank moment here. Um, yes, it's got embroidery on it. That's not the word I wanted, though. I'll think of the word as we progress along. <laughs> um, but I thought this would be great for cutting out the panels. They will get covered up anyway. Texture, that's the word I wanted, texture. Um, so no one's going to see these rust spots. Or even if I keep some of it blank, I'll make sure I put things over the spots. So again, really glad this did not go in the bin because I've got tons of it. It's a big tablecloth. So I think that will be great for my panels. Then I found, I didn't realise I had all this in my fabric tub. It's been that long since I've looked at it. But 
I found all these little squares. Not quite sure why I cut all these little squares up. Um, there's no way I would make a quilt with this variety. I must have had something on my mind, but it was a long time ago. But I have so many different colours and patterns. So I think they will truly come in handy. This one was going to be a little, obviously a little, a little Christmas pillow or something, which never happened, but it's already embroidered on with little beads. I might just put that to good use. Here's another item that almost hit the bin when I had that my big clean out. There's marks on this too. I think some some of this just comes, I live in a subtropical climate. It gets very hot in summer and things like that. And I think it's probably possibly weather. I don't know. Possibly, or could also be age. I've had this runner forever. But love the flowers. Love this panelling here. I mean, that will add great texture to a project. So what I thought I would do, instead of actually washing it and trying to get it very clean, if I want to use some of these, I might cut out some of these flowers, the ones that are marked, like these ones here, and I think I might coffee dye them. And that way I'll have some light ones and some dark ones, and I'm pretty sure if I coffee dye them, they'll end up sort of all the same colour. Even if they're not, we can have variegated flowers, can't we? <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad I didn't throw that out. I think it will be very handy. Um, this is just a little packet of DMC fabric for cross-stitching. I may do some little cross-stitches and use it for embellishments. I have no idea, but I thought, look, I'm going to add it to the pile. Then my fabric, I don't have a lot, but I think what I have here will be more than enough. Beautiful pink, dusty pink damask with a gorgeous deep cream texture on it. I love that. Again, beautiful texture on this floral. Um, I can just see cutting out leaves and things. Perfect. Flowers. Love it. Especially that love. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Another one. Again, cutting out leaves and things like that. Even this giant flower, whatever. I don't know yet, but I thought that would be a great addition. I even found a piece of cream satin have no idea whether I'll use it, but I thought that's worth adding to the collection. And then finally, this beautiful dark, it's very dark cream um, with smooth and textured stripes. I thought that could really come in handy. So that is my fabric. Then in this box here is a collection of trims. The, lots of this is little bits. Some of them are a bit longer, but there's lots of little fiddly. Some of the little bits in here are tiny. But look, I think I have just about every colour under the sun. So many things to pick from. Happy to chop all these up into little bits and use them. You know, pretty flowers, rick rack, you name it. All sorts of wonderful things in there. So I think that box will come in handy. Then I have this gorgeous little tin is my button collection. And as you can see, there's lots of buttons in here, every shape, every color you can think of just about. So I think they will certainly come in handy. And then finally, this is um, evidence of my very first wheel craft addiction. This beautiful wooden box was given to me as a gift by a very dear friend of mine at the time. She actually hand painted this for me and this houses my embroidery floss collection. So I think I'm covered for threads. One, <laughs> two, and look, I've even got some spares because, you know, ob it's obvious I'm going to run out very soon. <laughs> and a few other bits and pieces. These are all DMC and ANCs. I've also got these cheapy ones. And the reason why I like these is these are matte. Um, I wouldn't do a really fancy embroidery project with these, but for little bits and pieces and probably perfect for this, this journal we're going to make because they're matte. They they definitely create a little bit more of a vintage style look, so I'm glad I have those. I have metallic ones, 
They're a cow to actually use, but I love the looks of them, so I have those. I have a few little bits of um, silk ribbon. I thought I had more than that, so maybe that's hiding in my actual ribbon tub, but that's another whole story. If I need some other ribbon, I have plenty to play with, but I wasn't going to pull out bits because I don't know what sort of colours and things we need. And then, of course, we have um, the, down here just some basic supplies. I have a, just sort of an off-white cotton. I have a few more glittery ones, plain black. I have plenty more if I need a different colour. And a basic toolkit. This is my go-to whenever I have to do a hem or sew on a button. I've got needles of every shape, size, for, for embroidery, for beading, you name it, uh, little scissors, needle threaders, you know, all the things you need. And of course, that fits perfectly in that lower drawer. So that's it, guys. I think I have more than enough stuff to make this journal. I think I could make 20 of them by the looks of things, but I'm really looking forward to this project and it is such a great idea. I did try doing the 52 tag thing this year. I think I got about three done and went, oh, look, every week was just a bit too much for me. I just couldn't get it done. So I gave up on that. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes we start things and we don't finish them. Too bad. I have lots of fabulous tags, blank ones left over that I use in journals and things. So that's all good. Look, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop something down in the comments. Um, if you are not already a subscriber to this channel, I would love it if you joined and come, come and play along. I normally do paper crafting and paper planning videos, but obviously next year we're going to add a little bit of something else into the mix. And I would really love it if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. I am a smaller channel and every time someone hits like, it helps YouTube share my things with others. So until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. And I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye for now.